All right, welcome back to Steel Crew. This is the second video in a three-part series of how to uh, just the super basics for the uh, Sherman Firefly here in Steel Crew. This one is in the gunner's position. Now, a couple things that we have here. We don't have a hatch, so if you're claustrophobic and you like to look around a lot, I would not recommend playing the gunner because you only have two viewpoints. You've got your main viewport here, which you can, you know, lean your head a little bit and get a little more angle to kind of see around. We got another compass here. This is a magnetic compass, so if we turn the turret at all, you notice that the compass does turn. We'll get into more of that in this lever and that knob in a moment. The other thing that the gunner has is we have our gun sight here, which whoop, just bumped my microphone. Which, as you can see, you got to get your if you're playing in VR, you got to get your face right up there to it. Go in this eye. I'm not sure which I'm not sure which one of my eyes in the game is is rendering. And we can actually look around. It's a fairly detailed turret. We've got even the commander's cupola right here. We've got a nice little light that keeps that allows us to see. Our loader would be over there. Steel Crew doesn't have a loader position, but if we had a loader, he'd be sitting there. We've got some shells down there. Now, a little trick. If you ever want to know which way the turret is facing relative to the rest of the gun, you can actually look through the bottom of the basket right there, and you can see that box right there. That is our transmission, and you can see our driver's seats right there. So you can kind of get a, a sense of where you are relative to the rest of the tank just by looking down. Now, the gunner's controls here... There are four controls that you have. Well, five, but we're only going to cover... Well, we'll cover all of them. You have your hand crank here. Turning this one will turn the turret, and as you can see out the window, the turret is moving. Turning it that way and spinning it this way. This is definitely, you know, a workout. But you can also go nice and slow with this and get really, really accurate turns, but it's slow. We do have this lever here. A power traverser, which you can see as it moves the turret very fast. You would typically be using the power traverser like this, just scanning back and forth while driving. And then when you're actually ready to fire, you would switch to manually cranking it. The last lever you have is your elevation lever right here, which I actually cannot use because my desk is in my way. But this lever, can I, can I do it? go well I'm gonna I'm gonna use the keyboard commands you can still use keyboard commands while in VR uh, it moves the turret up and down or the gun up and down I'm using W and S the reason why I don't use the hand crank my desk is in the way and there's no way I can really move around that last two controls you have and again if you have pedals this is uh, one of them let's actually let's go into the gunner site and let's uh let's target something here uh. so we've got a house there. You can kind of see it. There we go. And the other two controls, uh, one of the brake, if the brake pedal, if you're using pedals, fires a coaxial machine gun. And the last pedal fires the main gun. Once the gun is fired, it does reload. One thing I have not seen, I don't know if the gun barrel in the game recoils in here. It does. That recoils. That is nice. Let's watch that through our gun sight. And there you have it. The gunner's position for the... Uh, the M4 Sherman, wait, it's, a, it's not the Sherman, M4 Sherman, it's, well it is the M4 Sherman, but the Sherman Firefly and Steel Crew. In the next video we'll be covering the very basic stuff of the Commander's Seat. So, thanks for watching, catch you there.